Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Welcome! I thought today I would show you how to make some fun and easy and adorable uh, page tabs. So here they are. Here is one that says thoughts. Here is this one that says ideas. And here is one that says journal. And the cool thing about these paper clip um, or these page tabs is they're da 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 removable. That's right. So if you make a journal and you want to make some uh, paper clip uh, page tabs uh, so that the person has a choice of maybe they don't want it on this page, maybe they want to put it on this page instead. Well, they can easily uh, do that and they can make them stick out as far as they want or as little as they want. They can put them down here, um, that type of thing. So that is uh, what I'm going to show you today. They're very easy and just a fun little idea. And then I made three other versions with using different techniques and I wanted to show you these three other techniques. So I'll show you four te techniques total and I'll give you pros and cons of all of them but I'll, I'll uh, but I think this one right now is my favorite because uh, it is easily removable and um, you can um, put these on any page and it gives the person or the recipient of the journal some um, uh, control over where they would like their page tabs to be. So there you go. All right let's give this a whirl. All right, so let me just give you a cute, a, a quick close-up example of this one. It's a very simple concept. You could decorate these any way you like. This is what it looks like from the back. It does have an exposed paper clip on the back, um, but that is uh, the way this one went. And uh, it just is, for me, the easiest to operate and um, the sturdiest in the journal. Okay, and uh, probably the easiest to make. There we go. Okay, how about that? Um, here we go. Okay, so let's make some of those. And I happen to have some uh, manila file folder hanging around, but uh, you, all you need uh, is uh, some paper that's maybe a little bit thicker than copy paper. Maybe you've got some scrapbook paper or something like that hanging around that you want to use up. Um, and this is a very thin manila folder, so it's just a little bit thicker than copy paper. Just something that can handle a little bit more uh, stress and structure. Um, so what I did was um, I took these larger paper clips, let me, whoops, Oh, yanking on my microphone cord. I know one day I'm gonna upgrade to that that uh, that one without the cord. That this my day will come. Da, 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 da. So these are one and seven eighths inch uh, paper clips. So if anybody's wondering how long those are, so um, let's take a little prototype over here. Basically, the paper clip is going to live with the big part in the back and the the little skinny part inside. Okay, and we're just going to maybe fold this in half and we're going to, well, let me get a bigger scissor. And we're going to cut this off to what we call relatively straight. All right. Hope that's straight. Oh, look, I think it is. Nope, not at all. <laughs> that's the way it goes, right? Okay. Let's try that again. All right. Here we go. There we go. Okay. So we have this and it is like a folded over like a little, a little uh, booklet. Okay, and basically the whole idea behind this is that you test it to see. Now, um, the little, the, you point your paper clip so the two loops are at the bottom. So you've got one loop at the top, that's the one loop, and here's your two loops at the bottom, one loop, two loop, okay? And so you, what you wanna do is test to make sure, um, and now I cut this one too short. It, it has to be, um, oh, wait, maybe I didn't, hang on, um, I don't know what I'm talking about. No, this one's just fine, actually. You want to have it so that this lives entirely on the inside, and that way you don't have paper clips sticking out as much at the top. So I did cut this one a little bit short, um, but uh, the advantage of having that at the end can allow you a little place to put a dangle. So we're just going to work with what we have um, and put a little dangle there. Um, so I just, okay, so let's see, this is how it goes again. Here's your paper clip. Okay, oh, let's go a little closer. Because it's probably the most confusing part is how to get the paper clip in there right. You got your little booklet with the spine thing on the bottom, okay? Then you're gonna take this and you're gonna put the small loop of the two on the inside. And then you're gonna glue this shut. Yeah, that's it. And then you are done. The basic construction of this and everything else is just about decorating at this point. It's pretty easy to go. I'm using Fabrifix glue clear silicone glue, paper to paper, paper to fabric, uh, fabric to fabric. There we go. And I just took some um, vintage photo and uh, distress colored ink came along here with my overused brown dauber 
and I put just, I just inked it up. I did, and I did the front and the back just so it had some color on the back. And um, I don't mind the paper clip showing on the back, uh, but you do have to leave it free because that's where the paper, the, your page will slide in for this particular design. We'll show, I'm gonna show the other three have the back covered. So that's why I wanted to show you some other options depending on what your desires are in your crafty world today. I want you to have options, lots and lots of options, right sunshine? Snoring, snoring. <laughs> all right, all right, we're gonna do our best here. Okay, so there we go. So what you can do, whatever you like as a decoration. I like to use words on my um, uh, my uh, page tabs uh, for just for inspiration. But you could use uh, rubber stamped images or anything you like. Uh, I think these I got from. Uh, I have a set of words in my uh, digi kits in my uh, Etsy shop. It came from that. And let's put. Why don't we put uh, blessings on this one? Okay, I don't have a blessings one yet. That's a good one. And you, you could make these anything you like. They could be days of the week, months of the year, numbered. Um, they could be random words. They don't have to mean anything to anybody. Um, things like that. So I think I took black here. Yep. On my very creative black dauber. Okay. I think I got that idea from Jessica Rapp. Thank you, Jessica Rapp. She said, uh, make a dauber out of a wooden spool and a sponge. What a brilliant idea. Thank you, Jess. And uh, here we go. I'm just going to put that down. There we go. Done. I mean, that's pretty easy, right? Pretty um, quick, painless, and fun to play with. And maybe we'll just put a little dangle on the end there because I think that would look really cute. So I'm using uh, Scotch Create glue stick, permanent glue stick. But you could use any glue stick here. This would be fine. This is not a, a major job for any glue stick. If a glue stick fails there, you'd be looking for a different glue stick. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> all right, so that. And let's put a little dangleroo um, there to see. And you could decorate more down here if you want, but I'm just going to keep it basic because I want to show you the construction of. Okay. Okay, I just grabbed some little um, embroidery floss in black, and I pushed this up a little bit to get the hole a little bigger so I could just finger thread this. Yes, so I can finger thread this. Yay, I finger thread it. Okay. And now I can pull that back down to anchor it in. Yeah, there we go. And you could put little dangles, like little um, metal charms and things like that on here too. That would be really cute. Okay. And there we go. All right. And then I'll just trim this off. We've got a little, a little tassel on the end there. There we go. Whoop, am I showing you? Sorry, I'm off the screen. There we go. Did a little tassel on the end of our, uh, our, our page tab. And now I'm just going to tuck this on a page so you can get an idea of what it might look like. The page, they're very easy to place. And there you go. There you go. So we'll be back up a little bit. Okay. All right. Let me just clean these little fuzz balls out of the way. <laughs> Gone. All right. Very quick. All right. Let me show you. So as you can see, that is a very quick design. Um, so you have uh, this original bareback paperclip style, which um, I think is my favorite, but I'm going to show you these others and you let me know what you think. Okay. So what's the second one I made? Okay. So this one, <laughs> I squashed it already figures. Um, but this one is, I call the entirely enclosed one. Let me put you over here more in the light. Kind of a dark day here today. Oh, okay. All right. So this guy, um, he's entirely enclosed on the back. Okay. And um, I accidentally squashed the one side, but it's a button on some lace. And I decided not to put a word on this one just to show as an example. And then this one functions very easily as well. Um, there. You could now, th because it has the big paper, paper clip, you can hang it off a little bit if you wanted that part to show. Okay. And that's what it looks like from the back. That's what it looks like from the front and it's sturdy and very solid and um, okay now how did I make this one? <laughs> that's why I didn't want to make too many because I'll forget how I made them. Okay so here we go. All right so I used well I used a piece of paper um, a piece of scrap like pretty scrap paper and um, like scrapbook paper 
uh, one like this. So let's do this one and maybe this one. I haven't torn one yet. Let me tear one. Uh, okay, I'm gonna tear one. An edge there and then uh, edge there. Okay, all right. Uh, and we'll just tear this just for fun. I don't know exactly how long it needs to be yet. So let me figure that out first. Okay, so the first thing, you gotta take your paper clip. You gotta realize that the two loops are gonna go to the bottom, okay? Because that's gonna be your grabbing point. It's like two fingers that grab your paper. Okay, so just kind of remember that, that. That's what you want, your two loops at the bottom for the grab. Now this is going to become the wraparound. And this, let's see how I did that. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Okay, so what I did was, two loops are at the bottom. Um, what did I do? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought I did. Okay, so um, let's take, we take the big side in the front, okay? The, or the big loop in the front. Oh, let me get some more white paper so we can see what's going on here. Um, zoom in. Big white paper in the front. And then we take our little torn page. Okay. Now we're going to flip it over backwards. Okay. And the, we're working with the big one in the front. So you isolate the big one in the front. Okay. You got that? All right. Now. Some glue down. Yeah. Go right to the edges. That's fine. That's fine. Cause we're going to seal this right up. And because these two loops, the front loop, uh, the little loop and the big loop are going to be isolated from each other. We're going to separate them. They will not know where the other one went. They'll be like, where are you? Where are you? I don't know. Where are you? Okay, so you see that? See, this is how it was. Okay. I slipped it in there, revealing the big loop, glued it up, folded it right with the end of the, of the loop. Now I'm turning it over and I'm coming around and I'm folding that down, but I'm not gluing anything yet. I am um, going to tuck this under here and you want to leave enough so you have enough to tuck. It doesn't have to go all the way to the top like the first one, but it does have to have enough of a lip. So let's put a little glue down. Okay. And let's get curling. It's a little tricky, but you can do it. Okay. An easy tip. This is what I did. It, oh, did I shouldn't have done that? Yeah. No, take that glue off. Ignore that glue part. Yep. Um, don't do that. <laughs> you don't even have to glue this part of it. Um, okay. So what you want to do is you want to bring it down to where that bot second bottom loop is and you want to make a fold right about there or just a hair below because you want to know exactly how far you need to go down. Okay. So now I'm going to take this. It's coming down and you, you know where that fold is, right? So you go in there and you take this. And at the magic of television, you, you slip that in there, get in there. <laughs> this was a little trickier, but it does cover the back in one felt swoop. Okay. All right, here we go. Yep. Oh, no, it worked easier before. Okay, hold it. And you're in. Okay. So it takes a little finagling. Like there's a finagle factor. I, I kid you not. There's a finagle factor. And uh, I think I should rip this side too. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's better. Okay. 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 There we go. There. Okay, so this is nice and flat. And it does function. Um, where is the example? Here it is. As this one. Just slides on the back. See that? It, see, it because it has both of the wings trapped in the paper on either side. So that's why that works. Oh, boy, I'm just mashing the heck out of this. Okay, we're going to put that down now aside to dry. That's right. You wait till your stuff dries before you bring it out to play with it. Yep. Great rule. Okay. Maybe one day I'll follow that. All right, here we go. So let us uh, go ahead and ink this up just to give it a little, you know, stuff. You can tear these. You can use uh, fancy scissors to cut them on the edges, things like that. You can leave them straight like I did this one. Totally your design and they will all look different and unique. Now this one, I'm going to ink the back as well. And you can even put words on the backs of these if you wanted to do that, to have uh, word tabs going the, or uh, page tabs going the other way with words on them. But uh, um, traditional, I would say, would just be on the front, the decoration. Okay. And here we go. Okay, should, should I back up just a minute so you can see what's going on? Okay, that's nice. All right, here we are. 
Yay! Hey, Sunny, how you doing? Totally out like a light. Um, okay, so now let's just put a word on so we can kind of get the idea rolling here. And where's my words list? Here we go. Um, all right, we'll put hopes on this one because he's just hopefully hanging on right over here. All right. And I like this torn look, but you can cut these out and you can punch them out with punches, whatever you like. Um, this gives nice options for your junk journals. Gives a nice little um, finishing touch, the page tabs. And removable page tabs, I think, are a fun idea. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do this. All right, so... This one is housing the shorter one. So that means this is your bottom and that's your top. Or if you're looking at it from the side, this would be your left side. And this would be your right side. Okay. So that means I'm going to put this close to this end. If I'm going to do a page tab coming in this way. So my page tab should just work just like that. There we go. There you go. And you can put it on as much as you want or remove it as much as you want because it's a long uh, paper clip. Okay, so we have that one. And let's see what else did we have there. We had two more. These are done differently. Um, okay, this one I'm going to show you. This is this one is done with the assistance of washi tape. Yes. So I thought, how can I adhere? There has to be an opening in the middle in order for the uh, paper clip to allow a piece of paper in between it. So uh, how can I get the paper clip to stick to this without... Um, coming off yet still uh, do its function. So I thought, well, let's try this. Let's try this. Okay. Um, here, let's try this cute little piece of paper. All right, we have this uh, um, uh, scrapbook paper. Looks like um, dictionary paper. Okay, there we go. And let's take a piece of that. Um, okay. And how did we do this? Right. Okay. That was the, uh, the washi tape. Uh, we used the washi tape trick on this guy. All right. So let's cut that off. All right. And this one doesn't have to be super. Well, this is going to be shorter. Okay. So let's just try a little piece like that. Okay. And let's fold that in half. Okay. So we've got that. And this one I fringe edged. This one actually is pretty short. Let's see if I can fringe edge this one with the fancy scissors. I call it fringe edging. It probably has probably like trim, fancy trims, paper, scissors, something or other, mother, mother. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm just decorating it up a little bit with a little bit of ink. And this will have um, both sides to view. So if you want to ink the back, feel free to go ahead and do that. Now, um, the trick with this one is getting some washi tape with maybe a little extra glue. Uh, to give you some security. So let's see, what do we have here? We have um, this particular paper clip we're going to work with today. We're going to put the two loops down. Remember, you want your two loops down because that's going to be like the mouth that's going to grab the piece of paper. Yep. And um, let's see. Okay, so you have to decide what is going to grab what. So the, the one tricky thing with this is it will work, but then the, it, it will have to always be operated the same way. And that is what um, the tricky part about this is. May not be obvious to your um, recipient, so take that into consideration. But if you want a quick and easy, this is a quick and easy. Okay, never like it when I say that. I always worried. <laughs> okay, so this is a very sticky washi tape. If it's not sticky enough, make sure you add a little bit of extra glue, either um, some glue stick or some Fabrifix to give it a little extra strength. But what we're going to do is we're going to open this one a little bit and I'm going to put the small tab forward just a smidge just so that I can get a piece of washi tape here. Okay, there we go. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down right in here. Make sure the, the tape is in the right place. You see? Yep. Okay. And putting down the washi tape. All right. These ideas have probably been done already, but I just thought it might be fun to see a bunch of them together in one spot. Okay, so now we have that is holding down that side. But if we leave it just like that, it, it will function, but you're going to have this flap sticking up. So how do we get the paper clip adhered to the other side? And in comes another piece of washi tape. And this time we're going to um, do it the opposite way. So let's give this a try and cross our fingers. So now we're playing with the, the small piece in front and we're going to turn this washi tape over 
and let me zoom in so you can see. We're going to slide it in here because we separated it a bit, okay? And we're going to put it in between like that. And then we're going to hope everything works when we close it up because it's going to grab this side. Yes. Okay. Now, um, if everything went well, then we should be golden. Uh, let's go ahead and put a word on there. Let's put, um, we have a, a dreams sitting here. Let's grab dreams. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, dreams. That's very nice. Very dreamy of you, dreams. Very dreamy. And these are just kind of goofy, fun things to play with, you know, as you're, as you're, you know, roaming around on your desk trying to think of uh, new and fun things to do with your journals, different little uh, uh, embellishments that you can put on them. There's so many fun things that you can do. Uh, and this is just one of many. Okay, there we go. All right. So now technically, if this one works correctly as this one did, well, I don't see that. Now this one, I think the, the big piece came forward. Yes. Okay. See the big loop came forward. Okay. Let me back up a little. Okay. Now this one, not sure. I think it's, it's the other way around. I think the little loop came forward. Let's find out in a second because it should either slide right on or it won't work. Well, this one, if it, if it, if you get it the wrong way, it'll just stick out like that. It, it can't advance any further because it's running into the um, washi tape. But if you do it the other way, like you put the big one forward, then all of a sudden, um, this is, then all of a sudden it goes all the way on. So I guess technically it will work either way. Uh, this one, you can translate the entire way on, or you can actually stop, um, farther, like closer to the edge. If you want, um, you just might want to reorient these so that they're like aligned so they get maximum tightness. Now, if the person comes along and does it the opposite way, it won't go any further, but they will still have a page tab. It will stick out. It will stay in place. It just won't translate the whole way. So that's the deal with that one. Okay. And it, it looks like this at the back, which I think is a, is a nice look when it's done the, um, the other way. But if you do it this way, um, when you fuss with it for like 10 minutes here, not the greatest <laughs> design, but it, it will work. <laughs> it will work. Okay. There we go. Um, it, it can go both ways. There you go. It'll go all the way. And that's what it looks like on the back. Okay. And so the last way, which I think is not the best way at all, but still does work. Um, this one had the big one in front, I think. Nope. It had the little one in front. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Now this one I don't recommend, but I thought I'd try it and I'll show it to you just because it is, it is here and it was created. Okay. So this one entirely is dependent upon glue and which side you glue your, um, paper clip on. It's a little scary, but we're going in. We'll do it. We'll do it together. Okay. All right. Let me just put all these over here so I don't lose them. Oh, here's hopes. Did I demonstrate that? I think I did, right? Hopes, yeah, it went on and off. That was very easy. That one functions very well. This is, maybe this is, that might be, if I want an entirely enclosed design, would be the favorite for that. And the open back design is the easiest and the quickest and easily functional. Anybody can function it. Um, okay, so here is the last one with just glue. Okay, hold your breath. <laughs> okay, um, let's use this paper. And let's get a paper clip. Again, we're going to use a big one. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Can't find one. Found one. Okay, got it. Pulling it apart. All right, here we go. Now, this one is going to use, okay, remember, two loops to the bottom, right? Always two loops to the bottom, except for, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Don't say except, Pam. Just, just go two loops at the bottom. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go here. Now, where is that one? Let me just find it. Is that it? I think this is it. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, okay, so actually, let me do it a little shorter so you can see what it looks like. It looks shorter, and we show some of the legs of the loops. Here are the legs of the loops. Okay. So, now, you have to kind of see in your mind, 3D visualizing, what parts of this do you want to stick to the back, and what parts do you want to stick to the front? Now, if I want to do the little loop stuck to the back, then I want the, the, okay. 
I want the top half of this in the back with glue on it to about there, okay? Oh, this is, this is not a good one. Don't anybody do this method, but maybe you can think, maybe it'll spur an idea in somebody for something. Okay, let's try that. Okay, we have that and let's put our paper clip down. So the little loop is gonna go in the back, okay? Now the big loop is gonna go in the front. Okay, so now let you come back again. Here's your big loop, okay? But we wanna glue, um, hmm, okay, we want, we're going to glue the front of this. Okay, let's see if we glue that to there. Let's try that, I don't think this, this is not a good way. Don't anybody do this. This is crazy. <laughs> Actually, I think I need to glue this part over here. Yeah, let's glue that on this side and that on this side. Okay, this looks ridiculous, doesn't it? I know, I know. Okay, just put it down. And then there's like, I know, random glueage sliding around in there and there's all sorts of things happening that shouldn't be happening. I should have torn this off already. Okay, now what's really important before it dries, I shouldn't have turned it around. I don't remember which side is which. Oh, well, we'll just figure it out. Um, you want to slip a piece of paper in there. There, see, that was the right way before it dries because you want the two um, pieces of the paper clip to dry on opposite sides of the paper without actually gluing the two papers together. And you're just keeping this here as a placeholder, okay? And you're just giving that a second or two to grab then if all goes well you can remove that and then you should be able to go in and out of there pretty easily without any problem at this point okay so it does technically work i just want you to know that it does technically work but it's just a little tricky when you're trying to make the darn thing because you sort of have to remember what on earth were you doing and what were you thinking when you were doing it <laughs> you know um so let's go ahead and i should have probably inked it up first but let me show you what this design and I'm just calling this the only glue the pure glue the pure glue design all right and how else did I decorate the oh I used a cluster okay maybe we'll do that on this one I'll just show you how I did that one with the <laughs> it looks like a bug eye now doesn't it yeah it looks weird but it was really cute when I first made it it was lace with a button and some little paint drops which totally got smooshed um, but let's see if we can make another one and make it cuter we'll just see if we can go for extra cute this time all right hang on let me get a piece of lace okay so I grabbed some Fabrifix and I put a little dollop there and I kind of smooshed it together to get our little ruffle ruching thing going. Yeah, yeah, a little fluff, a little uh, lace fan fluff. Yeah, can't see that. Okay, yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay, and just hold that for a second while that grabs. And you could put a little uh, uh, bow tie here with a little bit of fabric or a little embroidery floss, something like that. Um, or you could glue down a button and I've got two buttons here. I've got a black one and I've got a yellow one. I just want to see which one I like better for this particular design. Okay, we have the yellow and we have the black one. And uh, I think I'm going to go with the black one. I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling that. Yep. And it's got a nice little flat back on it so I can just put the Fabrifix glue here. This feels like a um, glass Victorian bead. Okay, there we go. Now, I could have put a little thread through there, which would have looked really cute, but I didn't get around to that. Uh, so I ended up doing my little um, uh, dots with the paint, which is where? Do I see it? Do I see it? Oh, maybe I already put it away. Not sure. But, um, uh, okay, I'll show you what I did. Okay, let me get it. Hold on. Here it is. Here it is. So you can see exactly what I did. Um, here it is. Okay, but I'm probably not going to use that one. I'll just show you what that one looks like. And maybe we'll do stickles instead. Yeah, why not? Let's make a total mess while we're making a mess, right? Okay, so this is the one I actually used. It's a Lumiere Sun Lumiere Sunset Gold paint. I think it's kind of like a um, 
a metallic acrylic. That's exactly what it is. That's what I was trying to think of. And that's what these those were. That's what the, they looked really cute before I smushed them. That's all I, I can say about that. Uh, but I do have a coffee pearl, uh, liquid pearls, or a what on earth color is this? Somebody find it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Copper. Okay, so let's see which one is not plugged. <laughs> Uh, my liquid pearls and stuff are very old, so you just never know. But they always come through in a pinch, and it takes forever to use up one little bottle. Um, okay, let's see. I can't see. All right, is it coming out? Is it coming out? I would guess not. No. Okay, so let's get a pin. So what we do, we get a pin, and we create a new hole. Where is the opening? Okay, there. Oh, we're in there. We go. Okay, we should, we should be literally golden. I was gonna say golden, but we're probably more like copper because that's this color. Okay. Oh, here comes something. Whoa! Oh, yeah. It, it shot a plug out that got stuck. Okay, there we go. What am I gonna do with that now? Just take it off. Okay, here we go. Down up. Down up. Okay. There. Oh. Somebody needs a what? What? Oh, I've got this all over it now. <laughs> There's copper everywhere. Okay. Hang on. Got this going down. Yep. Yeah, that happened. I, got this. I should have smushed it on paper and decorated something with it. Oh, well. Um, but there you go. I got two little cute eyes. I, can't, I, can't, I don't have my best glasses on today, so bear with me, folks. Um, but yes, two little... <laughs> I should have put a thread through it. Okay, but... But this should now function. Do you remember which one goes in front? Oh, I don't either. Is it the little one? No, I think it was the big one. Okay. Yep, that's the way it was supposed to go. And it can go, it goes that far. I guess the glue has uh, stopped it at that point. Okay, so there you go. So that's how that one works. It will work. It's not the greatest technique, but it will work in a pinch. And um, so let me show you again what we made to get an idea. Ooh, okay, so we have uh, dreams. Are you right? Oh, that's the wrong way. Okay, so we go the right way would be this way. That goes all the way on. You don't have to go all the way on, but you can. And then we have hopes, which goes the whole way. Oh, let me back up. Sorry, too close. Too close. Okay, we have those. Then we have original thoughts which is the easy technique just go straight on or you can leave it sticking out if you want i like that one my, my best my myself and then there is the uh, i think this is the glue this is probably the glue one that can go there but probably needs to go here one of these is the glue can't remember which one one of these was the tape one of these dream ones and then the big finale oops we're still missing one because i don't have the original where is oh he's over there right is this guy he goes this is not a good design i think he's coming apart already don't do this one okay just just forget we ever did that one that one with just the glue and then this guy is like hopes so he is like this one he does that oh his eyes just can i fix his eyes wait let me fix his eyes Okay, let's try and put some stickles on here. Let's hope the stickles is free flowing. Come on, stickles. Oh yeah, you're gonna come out. You don't give me any squirt splotches. Just give me a nice little stickle eye. There we go. Yeah, better, right? Yeah, I think so. It kind of looks like a little bug. <laughs> all right, let me back up so you can see them all. So there you go. Just kind of goofing around, having fun, making some page tabs uh today that are removable i hope you like this idea they were fun to make i love hanging out with you guys thanks so much um you can find all the links to my um oh here's another one oh this was a tape one yeah look at that see there's another one they, so you, they do actually come together pretty quickly but you got to remember who went where and with whom yes there we go okay that was a tape one 
Um, so there you go, folks. Um, if you're looking for any links, they're all down below my videos. They, I've got a link to my Etsy shop, which houses my uh, vintage digital kits and my ephemera collections, which I've just put a few more in there. If you're interested, please take a peek. Um, if they're not available, just keep an eye out because they will be reloaded at some point. And um, I may or may not make an announcement about it, but um, just keep checking because um, yes, I'm, I'm definitely making more of those and um, getting some really cool things to put in them. So I'm, as I'm digging through my stuff, I'm finding like, oh yeah, I should really put those in there. So there you go. And what else? Um, um, oh, uh, oh, if, if you enjoyed yourself, please like, subscribe and share. Click the notification bell to um, find out about new videos that I put out that come out. And um, my, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter which comes out and you get a um, free digital image emailed to you monthly, a note list, a note, uh, from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is. You can tuck inside your junk journals um, and a checklist of supplies if you're looking for supplies to make junk journals. And also um, tips about making junk journals and updates from me. And uh, I make podcasts. They come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's called uh, The Joy of Junk Journals, the Paper Outpost podcast. It is um, uh, free to listen and you can find it on Apple or Spotify or if you don't have any of those fancy things you can just click the link below and listen to them all for free and there's, they're all different material new material and you can find me on Instagram Pinterest Twitter Twitter LinkedIn Facebook and Facebook group and come and join our Facebook group lots of fun over there sharing ideas um, doing weekly and monthly challenges and seeing what you guys make from these videos so have fun oh wait a minute fluffer pants you're, you're up. Come on, bumpkins. Oh, I don't want to. Not ready. No, no, too early. What do you mean? It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. But it was just. Oh, hi, everybody. Yeah. Oh, it's you guys. Oh, totally worth getting up for. This is my nose. Yeah, and that's my chin. And here's an ear. Yeah, how about that? I'm going to sleep now. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> oh, he's, you know wiser than his ears what can i say uh, anyway um i love you guys i had a lot of fun today and make sure you're having fun out there and i'll see you next time Bye bye <laughs>